have velocity restorations. See here. And uh, they restore old Broncos and Blazers. You can see the front diff. They use a lot of the stock style geometry and stuff, but they use a heavier duty. Everything. They rebuild the differentials. These BFT tires. Custom pieces up front. Custom mirrors, badging, side marker lights. It'll have the step bars come down below. Front suspension. James Duff stuff. T-Rex bars. Duff versus Springs, it looks like. Custom Bilstein shocks on the back. The family bar. Let's look at the interior. You can see the carpet or the floor mat and whatever you would call it. Is a flooring is a special seats. Tilt column. Dash. A lot of custom parts in here. We have a special instrument cluster with a tack built into it. These do have coyotes in them. Wireless chargers. Touch screens. Antennas, power antennas. Method rims with the special BFGs. And we'll slip one down past this gorgeous blazer. You can see some of their custom parts here. They're okay. They're kind of cleaning up for a bit. It's getting late in the day. But you can see their custom lights, door handles, mirrors, etc. That's exterior. You can see some of their custom interior parts on this other side. Incredible door panels, all the knobs, just really clean setup. And we'll slip around because they have one more Bronco over here. I don't want to miss this one. I actually like this one better myself. I like the blue, I like the Ford in the center here. That's got those lights I just showed you. Chrome bumper, but this one's a little different again. See that front? Independent front suspension. Not so sure about that yet, but it's got to ride a lot better. Probably handles better. Interesting. And I'm sure it's coyote powered. I like the factory lights versus those. I'm not sure which ones I like better. But it has those uh, new slotted rims from US Mag, it looks like. It has their special door handles. Look at the interior of this one. I love the door panels on this one, the interior. Again, it's got the power so you can charge your phones, all the knobs for your four wheel drive. Vintage air setup. The seats have a special stitching in them. Really nice. The carpeting's nice. Nice and blue matches the outside. You can see the panels are really sharp with the speakers. 
even the tailgate. A lot of detail on this. And again, you can see the family cage on top and around here. Uh, you can, we'll slip around back. You can see those special custom tail lights. Billet pieces here, here. Got the big fuel tank. And it has a three or four link suspension under it, maybe five link. I'll take a look at it from the air side. to be a three link yeah great looking Bronco there thank you and again the custom mirrors as well and door handles like I mentioned and their custom soft bikini soft top and one more time there's that independent front it kind of looks different on a Bronco insane checking out this uh, international harvester uh, I call it a travel all but you might want to call it a scout or a battle wagon you see this big monster bumper look up underneath here we got Duramax motor so this is probably sitting independent front so this is sitting on a modern chassis Let's take a closer look at this thing. This thing is a monster. Yeah, that's got a modern chassis. But they got looking at this International Scout sheet metal or travel all ish. Those front fenders are not travel all or those. That's crazy. Travel Max. They call it the Travel Max. That is. A monster. I want to check and see what size tires those are. A lot of 3D printed stuff. You can see tail lights. I think those are 3D printed. But they are International Harvester. There's an emblem for International Harvester. But we got these beadlock big monster tires on this thing. 305, 7018s. These look like they're 35s. You can see the rock rail. Just incredible. This Bronco is near and dear to my heart. Being I have a very similar Bronco. And uh, they did a great job on it. I like the lift, I like the stance, tires at like 35s. Uh, it has a just the right amount of chrome for the sport package. Under the hood, big five liter Coyote. 
So you're looking at a minimum 400 horsepower. Straight as an arrow. Down below. And it looks like it's got a lot of heavy duty suspension parts. Yeah, all the front suspension is similar to stock, but all heavy duty. I don't know if it's James Duff or who. Uh, even a roll bar. And they put a little pan under here because it's got a body lift, but I like that. It's a nice little way to hide your body lift. Have to look around the backside and see how they did it. Uh, I'm guessing I didn't look at the window, 73 or 4. And we'll see what it's got for brakes. And it looks like it has the factory disc. And uh, has the T-Rex maybe. Tough suspension down here. Oh, it's got a, these will swing out the steps. Nice setup. Rear looks very similar to stock. Again, it's got blocks for the lift and disc on the rear. Just really clean, really nice. Yeah, let's check a, yeah, they got a little piece made there too. That's nice. Very sharp interior. I like the seats. I like the dark brown more than the burgundy, but still sharp. Manual transmission, look at that. Coyote with a manual. Vintage air, really nice. We have a first gen power wagon with a diesel Cummins over there. Well, I'm looking at right now is this guy right here. This first gen Bronco, 35 inch tall tires. Super clean. What we have on our hood. Yep, supercharged Coyote. So we're looking at 700 plus horsepower under the hood. But it does have a stock type, stock type front suspension on it. Disc brakes on the front. I'm guessing Willow Woods. And uh, wild horses, lift, AC. It's also running the factory uh, arms down there. It does have the drop down step bars. And it's also running, it looks like Wild Horses, rear springs with disc brakes. But a lot of original parts on it, original style. But yeah, the outside looks great. Chrome looks good. Really clean inside. I like the brown leather, very sharp. We'll look out from the back. Really nice, clean uh, first gen Bronco right there. We got first gen Bronco for sale. A little bit beat up. I like sports stripe on it though. Aluminum radiator, no top. Super Swamper Bulgers. Dual tank option. It's 76 or 77 front. So I'm look, this is 76, I have to guess. It's got 76 front end under it, dual tanks. Maybe 167,000 miles. I don't know if it's 67. It's a 71, it says there, so it has a newer front end under it. Yeah, it has a smaller back end under it, small rear end. So it has the original uh, 71 rear axle. So it's probably been swapped over to disc brakes. Oh, here we have some information. 
17,000. Original body, clear tile, new GT, 456 gears. Yep, you can see the twin sticks, three on the floor. I don't know who to send this to. I got a friend looking for one of these. <laughs>